Peace everybody back with another video. This is Dallas man loses eye after being shot in the face by non-lethal police round during peaceful protests. Yeah, so a man in Dallas had lost an eye because of the police that had that that's non-lethal police round during peaceful protests. So the guy wasn't doing anything wrong. He was just minding his own business and not bothering anybody. Now, there are going to be some graphic pictures, so viewer discretion is advised. So if you got kids, get them out so they don't see this. All right. Um, and, of course, here is the man who was shot in the face by a Dallas policeman. And this is so sad for what happened. A protester in Dallas is claiming that while at a protest against police brutality, he lost an eye after he was shot in the face by a sponge round, which is considered non-lethal by police. So yeah, this protester has lost an eye by a sponge round, which is considered non-lethal by the police. Brandon Sanez says he was protesting police brutality when all of a sudden, all he heard was, boom, I was hit, he told CBS FDW. And so this guy's name is Brandon. Um, He says he was protesting police brutality. And you know... It, this has been going on for years, the police brutality. And then when all of a sudden, all he heard was, boom, I was hit. And this is what he told CBS um, FDW. I put my hands up, put my hand on my eye, and then it, I took off running, he added, over his interaction with the police so yes yeah, so he he put his hands up and then of course he put his hand on his eye and then of course and then he took off running he added over his interaction with the police Senes 26 says he did nothing to provoke the police into shooting him with the sponge round but as a result of the incident and his subsequent injury he lost his left eye his attorneys told the outlet yes yeah, so this man is 26 years old um he said he did nothing to provoke the police and you know and he didn't because i mean when you got peaceful protesters they do not provoke the police at all but this officer who shot this man in the eye with a, um, a sponge thing that's non-lethal had um sh had done that made him lose an, his left eye and um and all this man was doing was minding his own business not causing any problems for anybody or anything like that the dallas police department has been made aware of to use the force possibility involving members of the police force, the Dallas Police Department said in a statement shared with people. Yeah, so the police department, they are aware of it, but are they going to do anything about it? That's another thing we need to know. Um, has been made aware of to use of force possibility involving members of the police force, the Dallas Police Department said in a statement. And they shared it with people. According to Intel, both occurred on Sunday, May 31st, on Main Street at different times. The DPD statement continued before adding a result. Two individuals were seriously injured, requiring hospitalization and surgery. So this man had to have surgery on his left eye because of what happened with the um the officer that did it and of course according to intel both occurred on sunday may 31st on main street at that time at different times the dbt statement continued 
and of course requiring hospitalization and surgery so here's the video of it but i will not play it because i know youtube will take it down and then they're going to get on my butt for it we are currently waiting for the victims to recover in order to garner all the facts surrounding these incidents it added yes yeah, so they are currently waiting for the victims to recover in order to garner so there must have been somebody else with him they also got shot in the eye as well or whatever. The Dallas Police Department also asked the members of the community with any information, photo, and video of the incidents to contact their Internal Affairs Division at this number right here. And, of course, here's their email as well as you can see right here. We take these matters very seriously, the statement continued. Rest assured, there will be a full investigation, and we will continue to keep the public informed on the status of the investigations. So, yeah, so they take this very seriously with their um, police department. But what they don't know is, and of course all around the United States, um, the police department have allegedly hired the Klansman police. Think about it. Ask your police department if they got them kind of people in there. And if they do, they need to be kicked out. Tell them to kick them out. Allegedly Klansman police officers. Think about it. And, of course, you know, this guy is definitely not dead. He's very much alive. <laughs> Somebody else is handling these kind of stories right here. I'm not. Cena's injury comes amid a continued nationwide protest against police brutality and systematic racism in the wake of the death of George Floyd, an unarmed black man who died after a while after a white police officer, I'm sorry, pinned him to the ground with a knee on his neck as Floyd said repeatedly he couldn't breathe and pleaded for the officer to stop. All right, so people are still thinking that George Floyd was killed by a white police officer. Not true. It's all staged. It's theory, theory, react, actrix, theater. The world is a stage. Everybody is an actor. Think about it. George Floyd is not really dead. People are thinking he is. Wake up. The officer in question, Derek Chauvin, was previously charged with third-degree murder and third-degree manslaughter charges, but this was upgraded to second-degree murder on Wednesday. So now, Wednesday, they have upgraded to a second degree murder allegedly but it's not true <laughs> formal criminal charges have also been filed in minnesota against the three other policemen thomas lane 37 told tile 34 and j alexander kinnig 26, who were present at the time of George Floyd's May 25th death, according to a warrant reviewed by People. Yes, so People have reviewed a fake warrant. The officers, they, the officers that are involved with the alleged murder that never really happened, they came from the Minneapolis 3rd Precinct. They're the ones that are, are the ones, they're actors. And of course, this lady lost her eye during the protest. As you can see here, she's in the hospital. In Minneapolis, photojournalist Linda Tirado was covering the protest when she was shot in the eye with a rubber bullet. What rubber bullets? 
Theriatrix. Think about it. I was honestly just standing there trying to decide what shot I was going to take. And it was just a really intense pain in my face. Tyrato told people and all of a sudden I felt blood everywhere. I closed my eyes and started wandering in the direction that I thought was away from cops. Yelling, I'm press, I'm press. And... Some of the protesters picked me up and put me in a car and took me to the hospital. Yeah, so there was blood that was um falling from the journalists. And the journalists was just doing their jobs, as always. Um, but there was some protesters that picked I don't know, um picked the journalist up, put the person in the car and took him took that person to the hospital so that's what happened um oh linda tyrato is her name yes i picked linda up off the ground and put her in the car and took her to the hospital even though she was yelling that she was a press she's press as soon as Toronto arrived at the hospital, she was taken to surgery in hopes of saving her eye. So her eye was shot out too by the police as well. Who are, even though the press did nothing wrong, the press she was peaceful and doing her job like she's all like she's always do. And of course, the cop took. Took it and shot her eye out. They said that my eyeball actually nearly exploded. They said it was nearly separated in two. And so they did the surgery trying to put it back together. But there's no chance of restoring vision, she says. I might be able to see lights and shadows. But the surgery that they did was more cosmetic than anything. Yeah, so that's what she says. She said that she said that my, her eyeball actually nearly exploded. In other words, it would have came out and everything, but it didn't. They said it was nearly separated in two, so her eyeball was almost separated in two. And so did the surgery trying and so they did the surgery trying to put it back together, but there's no chance of restoring vision. So now She'll be blind in the eye, but not fully, because she, she'll she only see lights and shadows. That's all she will see. Um, but the surgery they did was more cosmetic than anything. So these people that are getting their eyes shot out by the police, they have no right to do that, the police officers. They have no right to do that. Even though these people are peaceful and not doing anything wrong, the, co the police are going after the wrong people for all the wrong reasons. And, you know, and it's not fair that these people are getting shot by the police for no reason. And they need to be kicked off the police force. Literally. Get them out. Get the mayor out. Get the governors out. People have had enough of all this. This is why the revolution is now. The great awakening is now. We're in a spiritual war right now. It's everything. This is World War Three right now. Like it or not. That what all these riots and everything are going on. Leave your comments below. I am out.